Boom. Flags everywhere in Perplexing Pool. Flags everywhere in Awakening Wood. Now we got Valley of Repose. Oh boy. <laughs> the fun stops here. An ad for the website inside the game. I don't know why. It's it's meta. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's just prep ahead for the oncoming dangers. So, we're going to take 20 white Pikmin. Because I believe we'll be facing a lot of poison traps in this upcoming dungeon. We could do 20 of every Pikmin. I think I'm going to take a couple extra purples, though. And I'm going to take fewer reds. Only going to take 15 reds, because they're not as good. Get back here. Nobody said for you to beat that up. I don't think there's really any water hazards in this upcoming dungeon, so I will only take 15 blue. And I'll take 25 yellow, because there are going to be a lot of electric hazards. Here we go. An army. All right. <laughs> well, we're off to <laughs> we're off to the next dungeon. This is not going to be fun. It's not going to be rewarding, and it will be very, very difficult. Hey, Pikmin, how about you don't be stupid? Wow, my Pikmin just decided to not move. I was literally, I was using the C-Stick to make them go up the, up the, towards the cave, and they're just like, no, not doing it. Are you, are you serious? You are serious, because the game made me lose Pikmin. Well, I didn't think I would lose Pikmin on the way to the dungeon. I must say. See, that's the kind of thing that's dumb and really ticks me off, because I should not have lost Pikmin there. The game just decided you're not going to have controls. <laughs> I don't, I'm don't. i not even sure if that was the Pikmin being stupid or the game just saying, no, you lose. I guess those two things can go hand in hand. Alright, new strategy. We kill, P we kill the enemies along the way. Actually, mm. you know what? No, we're gonna go twenty of everyone because I know for a fact that there are quite a few purple flowers in this upcoming dungeon. So we're gonna turn some reds and maybe some blues into purples. This time, we kill the enemies along the way. I'm going to preemptively separate the Pikmin armies. I don't want white Pikmin. I only want purple Pikmin.
Oh, silly me. That's a two-degree incline. Therefore, everybody is molasses slow going up it. How the heck did it spear me when it was literally dead? That's okay. At least nobody lost their flower. All right. We cleared out the enemies. <laughs> everybody follow me. Jeez. Yeah, apparently on the Valley of Repose, even the tiniest incline, you just can't move up. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Interesting. My metal detectors are reacting violently. I can only conclude that there may be some sort of machine below, but that seems illogical. Oh, if only you knew. Alright. <sighs> We're off to the subterranean complex. Ah, this is gonna suck! <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck so much. Subterranean Complex, sub-level 1. I guess I didn't need to bring any blue Pikmin, but I'll turn the blue Pikmin into purples. Oh, so this is a new enemy. This is a hairy Bulborb. They're actually easier than red Bulborbs, because the only way they ever wake up is if you throw Pikmin on them. Other than that, they're incredibly easy. They're, like, the easiest of the adult Bulborb types. So, I think the beginning of this cave is probably not going to be too bad, but I'm worried more about the end. The boss of this cave is exceedingly nasty. Snow Bulborbs, they're easy. Okay. So up there, those are bumbling snitch bugs. I think we saw them in Submerged Castle. They will actually grab our captains. Which is not good, because then the Pikmin will just stand there and get eaten by the snowball orbs. So perhaps the smartest thing to do would be... Hey, hey snitch bug. Yeah, so he just grabbed Olimar. Come on. Why are those bugs so hard to hit? How many Pikmin do I have to throw on this guy for him to actually move down? Like, he's already destroyed almost half of Olmar's HP. I've been throwing Pikmin on him constantly, but he just, none of them are hitting him. There we go. Die. Die, 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 die. Supremely annoying enemies. Yeah, yellows probably hit them a little easier, but I swear I was hitting him, and it just wasn't registering the hits. Yeah, like, we can move right next to this guy, and he will not wake up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. 
The sub levels are getting big, though. This is a sizable sub level. Alright. Take out the snowball warbs. I remember there being a lot of poison filters in here. Big sub-level for not much treasure. Ah, here we go. Scotch tape. That's what I've been looking for. with that. Apparently that guy got left behind. Whoops. Ah, here we go. Actually, I don't think this is scotch tape. Gamma tape! My, my bad. The exhausted super stick. Well, that's okay. Nice job, gentlemen. You found a... <laughs> the dial for a rotary phone. Très chic. Cool. Sub-level one, which is I'm almost certainly the easiest, is over. A hundred Pocos. The Nouveau table. <laughs> this actually is not the easiest sub-level in the dungeon, but it's one of them. I think most of the rest of the dungeon are the metallic rusted areas, and oh boy. There is one sub-level in particular I remember. I already know my strategy for it. Pfft. It'll probably be my strategy for most of the sub-levels here. And yeah, the boss is going to be extremely nasty. Very difficult. Subterranean Complex Sub-Level 2. And here it begins, yep. So from now on, my strategy for every single floor is going to be take a captain, wander around, explore, Destroy all of these bomb rocks before my Pikmin have a chance to trigger any bomb rock uh, random droppings. So, th in case you didn't know, this is basically the bomb rock dungeon. Now, bomb rocks can be used to your advantage, potentially. There are some enemies that can take damage from bomb rocks that can help you kill them. But most of the enemies here are immune to them, so... Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, look at look at all these Karini Dirigi bugs. Like Karini Dirigi bugs are immune to bomb rocks, so there's no point in using them to try and take them down. All right, I think that's all of them. So this should make the rest of the sub level a good deal easier. Still very difficult because of all of the enemies that can throw bombs. Oh no, and the swooping snitch bugs are actually difficult because they can drop your Pikmin off a cliff. No, no, no. You have to be very careful, careful to not accidentally throw your Pikmin off a cliff. Yeah, especially if you've got two Karenian Dirigi bugs next to each other. Uh oh. That white Pikmin I almost accidentally tossed off a cliff. Get off of him! 
You want to get blown to kingdom come? I already can tell you, you do not. There's one down! Oh boy. And this is one of the uh, easier floors of the dungeon. This is not even the floor that I was thinking about. How are these guys getting all of these bombs? They throw one, pull another out. Rinse and repeat. I would not be surprised if this dungeon was the one that made you give up on completing the game. Because this dungeon is unfair. Completely. Again, this is probably one of the kinder sub-levels. Oh look, a bomb drop. The one nice thing is that unlike Submerged Castle, there is not a time limit for this. Oh, thank goodness, the bomb rock fell off a cliff, so... There we go. Alright, carry all this back to base. I think it's... I think it's sub-level 4. Where it's like a very long, windy hallway that spirals down. Oh, it's it's evil. <laughs> Wait till you see. What sub level would I say is the hardest? Well, I'll let you know when I get there. Network main brain. I know what the hardest sub level in the whole game is, and that's in one of the uh, wistful wild dungeons. I'll point it out when we get there. What I hate about these bugs is, like, as soon as they drop one of their bombs, they immediately create another one. Alright, I don't trust this, so... Start digging it. Yep! See, I understand how the game works now. Some things will not trigger until you start, like, digging something up. I knew that in advance, and so I was able to prepare for it. I'm like, I have a feeling that if you have to dig that up, that it's going to trigger a trap. <laughs> Alright, another gear. Just keep cogging along. 70 pogos. The spirit flogger. <laughs> okay, then. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Some of those Korean and Dirigi bugs were tough to take out, but... Only two treasures, and there wasn't a lot of enemies, so... Not as bad as I was thinking. <laughs> Those two white Pikmin were doing the Mario long jump there, I see. Subterranean complex, sub-level free. Alright, once again... Gonna leave my Pikmin back at the start. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. President doesn't need no Pikmin. President can beat the whole game by himself. This will make you go by twice as fast. <laughs> At least. This poor bug doesn't know what to do, so he's just like, I guess I'll keep spitting boulders at the wall, because this is what I know. 
All right, we got a sprain. Ten bucks says if we try carrying that with a Pikmin, it'll trigger a bomb rock. It actually might be best to go through here with a single, like, white flower Pikmin. Because I think some traps actually won't trigger into, unless you have a Pikmin with you. So, yeah, actually, I think we'll do that. Alright, red flower Pikmin, that also works. Yeah, this is the dungeon where you really need to start going out of your way to trigger as many of the traps as you can before actually... Alright, alright. Man, this sub level is big. Oh, hi. Uh oh. <laughs> Omar's in danger now. Stupid bumbling snitch bugs. The generic Captain Punch is actually a very effective weapon in this game when you're dealing with no deaths. Hey, Miss Hero, welcome! You're just in time to join the sadistically difficult subterranean complex in Pikmin 2. Nice to see you, though. Ooh, church pot. Oh, that brings me back. Church potlucks. A lot of memories of those. The layered jello. Oh, yeah. Oh man, <laughs> so much nostalgia just got triggered from that line alone. <laughs> this is—we're just here, two grown men punching a giant uh, larva to death. Pretty, pretty typical Saturday, Sunday afternoon. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone to the other cave first. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> He had a screw with him. How nice. Alright, I think we... Oh, wait, no, we haven't. No, we haven't. Okay, now we've explored the rest of the dungeon. Cool. So now we can take the treasure back. There you go. Take that back. Ah, sorry to hear that. Oh, you Nintendo addict, you still aren't doing the in-person meetings. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. One, I will say, church is not the same if you're not doing it in person. Have, having done some remote church as well as in-person church. I'm glad we had the option for remote church, and I definitely took advantage of that several times, but it's it's so much nicer being in each other's fellowship physically. What are you doing? You're not Red Pikmin! Okay, apparently... Wow. The purple Pikmin are like, step aside. We don't need to be fire resistant for this. Do, 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 do. Games Idea Maker, welcome to the stream. You don't like the forecast, the 100% chance of bombs? Well, we've already encountered a lot of the bombs, but uh, I th it's either the next sub level or the one after that, where it's just going to be. I think it's like there's like 60 bombs that drop from the ceiling or something. <laughs> yeah, the purples do not care. The Omega Flywheel. Nice. Oh, there's still another treasure somewhere. Oh, that's right, this is the spring. Ah! That was a near fame. 
I didn't even see the fire geyser. I'm just like, all right, herp a derpity derp. We'll march along to the screen. Oh, that was actually a nice surprise. I was fully expecting a bomb rock. No, like everybody but the purple leaf Pikmin got it. That's not what I wanted. I'm like, okay, I really need to get this purple leaf Pikmin to get some nectar. And it's like, he was like the one guy who didn't get it. Rats. I like how, like, this dungeon is metallic-themed and there are all these machine parts that we're getting. It's very well-themed. 70 Pocos, the coil, the launcher. I don't think it's going to launch that much if it's rusted at the bottom. <laughs> Talk on it, Omar. I can't stand hearing that low-health blipping sound effect. <laughs> okay, I think it's sub-level 4. Which is, like, if you don't take the captains and go ahead, like, you're, you're not gonna beat it. Oh, no. No, I think it's the one after this. Sub-level four. The caves are getting longer, so... I can't remember which sub-level is which. Actually, is this... Oh, this is the rest floor! Oh, this is the easiest floor. I love this one. Okay, we're actually not gonna drink that nectar yet. Because we can get more purple Pikmin on this floor. And we will definitely be taking advantage of that. We can also get white Pikmin. I don't think I want any more white Pikmin, though. I have 40, and I can't see myself needing more than 40 at this point in the game. Actually, are there only white flowers on this? Okay, Purple Pigman, you can drink it up all by yourself. Fine. Okay, so there are actually only white flowers on this floor. Okay. So this is a great place to go if you want to get more white Pikmin. There's also a geyser to leave if you're like, I'm scared, and you should be scared. You should be very scared. Can I take a nap and heal with the five-man glove? Does the five-man knapsack heal? I thought it literally was just an Easter egg. Oh, I'm gonna actually try that. 